Number four, balance the following equations. And then we have one equation here. It's letter B in the, in the list of all that we got. We need to balance P4 solid plus O2 gas, which will yield P4 O10 solid. I like to just rewrite it just so that I have a bigger room to play with. So P4 plus O2 yields P4 O10. And if you've already watched some of these balance equation videos, you know that these states mean absolutely nothing. That's why I don't write them down on mine. Who cares? Who cares if it's a solid? Who cares if it's a gas? Doesn't matter when you're trying to balance the equation. So we now have this lovely equation. And when we balance equations, starting off, let's try to make that chart. There's a chart. It's a two-tier chart. You always have your reactants on the left-hand side. That's your starting material, everything to the left of this yield sign or the arrow sign. And then you have your products on the right-hand side. When you're doing this chart, um, you want to list your individual elements. So work from left to right. What specific elements do you have here? Well, I just have a phosphorus and I just have an oxygen. So P and O. And then just match them up. So law of conservation of mass says, you know, if I have, well, you know, not really conservation of mass, but basically if you have your elements on the, on the reactant side, the same elements have to be on the product side. And now let's just say how many we have. I have four phosphorus, so I have to write a four here. I have two oxygen, so I put a two here. And then going to the product side, I have four phosphorus, and then I have 10 oxygen. So I write those numbers down. Then I only focus on the ones that need to be balanced. In this case, the phosphorus is already balanced, so that's a check. But now if I look at the oxygens, they're not balanced. On the left side, or the reactant side, there's two. On the product side, there's 10. You always try to get the lower number to the higher number by multiplying if you can. Can I multiply two by a number to get me to 10? Heck yes, two times five is 10, right? And the number that you multiply by, in this case five, is going to be the coefficient for that element that's on that side. So I'm going to put a 5 here. 5 times 2 is 10. And now I just say, okay, 10 and 10, that's balanced. And oxygen was the only element in this molecule, so I don't have to change any other numbers. And 4 and 4, 10 and 10, we're done. It's as simple as that, guys. So you have one P4, you have five O2s and one P4O10. And that's your final answer. This one was simple, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. <laughs> I'm so corny. And why did all that rhyme? I don't know. Anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully this helped. Um, if you want more balance equations, you could check our, our chemistry balancing equation playlist. Um, I, I hope you guys are doing well in your classes. Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you guys. And if you want, you can like this video, subscribe to the channel. And that's all. That's all I got. All right. I'll see you guys all in the next lesson. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.